What do you mean by the maximum usable frequency in the case of sky wave propagation? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term maximum usable frequency in the case of sky wave propagation? Well, let's find out. So let us consider a transmitter antenna and a receiver antenna on the surface of Earth like this. This is the curved surface of Earth. So let this be a transmitter antenna and let this be a receiver antenna. And now let this be the ionospheric layer of the atmosphere. So in the case of sky wave propagation, we know for a fact that the transmitter antenna sends a particular signal onto the ionosphere like this and when it reaches the ionosphere, it gets reflected and it gets reflected back onto the receiver like this. This is what happens in the case of sky wave propagation. So therefore here, this signal would be sent with a particular frequency like this. And it is with this frequency that when it strikes the ionosphere, it gets reflected back onto the receiver like this. So now, at the transmitter side, let us gradually increase the frequency of this particular signal. That is, let us increase the signal's frequency like this, 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 this. So what we observe is that after a particular frequency, after a particular frequency, this signal will not reflect at this ionosphere. Rather, what happens is that at a particular frequency value like this, it would penetrate the ionosphere and we will lose that particular signal. We will lose it into free space. It won't reflect back onto the receiver. So therefore, the maximum value of this frequency with which it gets reflected at the ionosphere and we can receive it at the receiver is simply what we refer to as the maximum usable frequency. As simple as that. So I've written it down. It is a maximum value of the frequency that can be used for sky wave propagation to happen between two points on the surface of the earth. This maximum value of frequency is what we refer to as the maximum usable frequency. So what is the expression for this maximum usable frequency? How can we mathematically obtain the maximum usable frequency when we send a particular signal at a particular angle? How do we obtain it mathematically? So for that we know the expression for the refractive index of the ionosphere. The refractive index of the ionosphere is given as eta is equal to sine theta i divided by sine theta which is equal to root of 1 minus 81 n divided by f squared. So this is the value of the refractive index of the ionosphere. So here the value of this theta can vary from 0 to 90 degrees. So let us assume that this value is equal to 90 degrees. So therefore eta is equal to sine theta i divided by sine 90 which is equal to sine theta i is equal to root of 1 minus 81 n divided by f square. So now we know the value of the critical frequency which is given as fc is equal to root of 81 n. So critical frequency fc is equal to root of 81 n. But here we have the value of 81 n over here. Therefore substituting this over here we get sin theta i is equal to root of 1 minus fc squared divided by f squared. So therefore on squaring both the sides we get sin squared theta is equal to 1 minus fc squared divided by f squared. And now on rearranging this we get 1 minus sin squared theta is equal to fc squared divided by f squared. But 1 minus sin squared theta is cos squared theta. Therefore cos squared theta is equal to fc squared divided by f squared which implies that f is equal to fc by cos theta. This is the value of the maximum usable frequency in the case of sky wave propagation. As simple as that guys, as simple as that, there's nothing more to it. So this thus is simply what you refer to as the maximum usable frequency in the case of sky wave propagation. As simple as that. 
So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as the maximum usable frequency in the case of skywave propagation. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.